Are you tired of spending hours brainstorming tweet ideas or struggling to maintain consistency on Twitter? What if I told you there's a way to automate it all? Picture this. You come up with a title on which you want to post a tweet and AI creates the perfect tweet for you. Complete with engaging content and posts it automatically. Sounds like magic. Well, it's not. It's the power of AI and automation. Stick with me because today I'll show you how to build a tweet generator workflow that will revolutionize your social media game. Here's what we are doing today. We'll create a workflow using AI powered automation that takes a simple title, turns it into a creative tweet using OpenAI and Google search and posts it in directly on Twitter. Why is this important? Because in marketing, content is king. Consistently delivering engaging tweets isn't just about maintaining a presence. It's about driving traffic, building a loyal audience and also generating revenue. Automating this process not only saves time, but also ensures marketing efforts are efficient, scalable and impactful. Let's build something that works while you sleep. As you can see, this is my N10 profile or account. And we will be creating a workflow, uh, which will automatically tweet on our behalf. We just need to provide a title. So the first thing we need to consider is how to trigger this. Do we need to trigger it with a chat message, which you can put it here on this account or on this page, or shall we, this is a chat trigger, or shall we use Telegram? There are multiple options available. You can select either one. We'll go with the simplest one, which is chat trigger. And there it is. Our trigger is ready. So to send a message uh, or across, we will just need to write the message here and press enter and that message will trigger this workflow. Now let's start with the second building block, which is our AI agent. It, this AI agent will create the tweet based on the topic we give and we can we, I have selected take from previous node automatically here. So it will automatically take the title and start working. So this AI agent will not run on its own. We, we need to provide an engine which, uh, to it, which is our chat model. There are various chat models available. Uh, we can use OpenAI. Now to use OpenAI, we need an OpenAI account. And then not just the normal account, the API access account or developers account. So I already have created a developer account. Let me quickly show you how this is done. So this is how the developer account of OpenAI looks. You can go to platform.openai.com website. And here you will be allowed to generate API keys. This I have generated two, two of them. You can create, click on create a new secret key and you'll be able to generate a new secret key. And this we can use to connect to our n account. Also, you will be asked to link your credit card or maybe any other payment method and fill balance first. Then you will be able to use the service properly. Jumping back to n uh, we have attached OpenAI. Now, memory model, uh, we can select any of those memory models. So this will remember the chat or the conversation which we did. Uh, previously so i'm going with windows buffer memory because it is easiest to set up there is there are no accounts required if you go with postgres chat memory you will need to have a postgres database so let's go with windows buffer memory it will automatically take data from the previous node and finally we need to integrate uh, our twitter or x and here we will be selecting the operations i'll go with create tweet there so I have already added my Twitter account, integrated my Twitter account. For you to do this, you can go to Twitter developer account here and you need to create, you, if you have your Twitter account already, you'll be able to log in with that same email address to this developer portal. You can click here, developer portal. And there it is. So here is our project. You can click on settings, app settings, and you can write your name, your app icon and app ID. Now you will be asked 
to enter a reason for what uh, for why you want this API access of Twitter and you'll be asked to give an elaborate answer of 250 characters or more so please provide a reason and then you'll be allowed to use this access or generate API key and once you are through that you'll land on this page and here is the important bit user authentication settings you can go to edit and here you need to set what permissions you require for this API key. Read and write I've selected because I, I will be able to read others tweets and also write my own tweets. There are other, if you just want to read others tweets, you can go with this. Otherwise, if you also want to send a direct message to any of your followers, uh, you can go with this request. I've selected or set this request email address from users as off because I don't want any want to ask any information from users. I'll just be posting tweets. Type of app I have selected web app. You can if you are using uh, this uh, if you are using Anytime you can go with web app again. Now callback URL. So let us quickly jump back to Anytime here and I'll show you. You create, if you see this create new credential, you'll see that option. And here you will see the redirect URL. So copy this and paste it on X or Twitter. Here you can write your own URL of your website or any platform where, where you where X can find you about information about yourself and then save. Once that is done, you'll see client ID and client secret key generated by Twitter on the platform on the next page. This client ID and client secret key you can add here and you'll be prompted to yeah once you add your uh, client secret key you'll be prompted to connect to your account. Here here is how I have added client ID and client secret key and connected my account. If you'll see this option or you may see this option to save this credentials and once you click on that this window will open, it will show us your name uh, and your username and also authorize app. Click on that and the Twitter developer portal will verify the credentials and then you are good to go. Once we are done with this, we can proceed with our workflow. I have selected this. Now here are the options which we would like to use this API key for. We can directly message someone. You can see list of users, tweets, and some. If you want to search some user on Twitter, we can go with this. I'll be choosing tweet, create a tweet, rather not delete or retweet or anything. And here's where what information we would like to give or what data or what text we want to put as a tweet on Twitter, we can write it here. For now, I'll just leave this be. Now, the very important bit is tool. Now for tool, we have SERP API. SERP is an, a, SERP API is a company or is, it's a service that provides many of the Google APIs and uh, uh, also YouTube APIs and many more. Let me quickly show you how it looks like so you can get started with this. So this is the SERP API dashboard. To register your account, you will be asked to connect your Google account and also your phone number. So once you're done, they'll verify your email ID and uh, your mobile number and they'll provide you an API key. Here is my API key. And uh, they give, provide us or they offer us 100 searches per month. And I've already utilized 60 of them almost. So this is the API key. You can copy this and paste it on any time. I'll select create new credentials. And here is where I'll paste my API key. Once we are done with this, we have our workflow ready. Let's see why this is giving error now. What message to print in this? So we'll, the, our tweet will be generated by our AI agent. So we need to first configure this. As I said earlier, it will it is it will take data from the previous node. Now we need to write a prompt for to tell it what to do with that text or that title. So you are an helpful assistant. Your job is to write tweet, write a tweet on the title. 
I provide uh, keep the tweet insightful and sound make it sound like uh, like news this tweets are for educational purpose only and there we have it our prompt is ready now very important bit twitter has some strict guidelines for free accounts they only provide 250 characters limit for a tweet whether you post it through the platform twitter platform or through apis so see the entire tweet short and up to 250 characters important also add hashtags in tweet so algorithm can pick it up And we have a prompt ready. Let's save this. And we can name our workflow as Twitter Autobot. And now with the X. So here we will be receiving the tweet which created by our OpenAI model. And how do we paste it here? So to catch that uh, information, we'll use this expression. So using this expression will tell it that we will be using javascript in our box input box so and using javascript to use javascript we need to add curly braces json dot output so this curly whatever we write inside this curly braces is pure javascript now dollar json is a variable name which will take the information or assume the information which comes from the previous node and output is the key for uh, to which our tweet will be attached. So there it is. Our pipeline is ready to be run. Let's see how this works. We are, I'm saving it and let's give it a try. Create. Okay. All right. What tokens are in LLMs? And there we go. So let's see the execution and that it succeeded. So our very first tweet is this tokens in large language models are fundamental units like words, characters, sets or combination of words and punctuations. They help decompose text for processing and understanding. It has also generated hashtags so our Twitter algorithm can support it. And let, let us go to my account and see how this one looks. So this is my Twitter feed. I'll go to profile and check. I ever wonder what tokens are in LLMs. Tokens are building blocks of text, breaking it down into words, characters, and more. And here's our tweet. Tokens in large language models are fundamental units like words, character sets, or combination of words and punctuations. So there we have it. Our Twitter poster is ready. And you can use this workflow to build your Twitter presence to automate your tweeting. If you like this video and found it helpful, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for many such useful automation videos. And also mention in comment section what automation workflow would you like to see next in our videos. Thank you.